Hey y'all. Um I didn't get a chance to uh pull some cards for Sunday. I usually do a collective message every Sunday just so the collective can be aware of what they need to work on or what spirit wants me to tell you all. I didn't get a chance to do it yesterday, so I'm doing it today. This is for week July 11th through the 17th. What does spirit want you to be aware of or want you to work on? I pulled boredom. This is from Ask Your Spirit Guys Oracle Deck. And then I pulled Enlightenment. This is from um, the Chakra Wisdom Oracle Deck. So by me looking at these cards, um, I feel that Spirit wants me to tell you, you could be feeling bored right now. You could be feeling like, what is what can you do? What else can you do? You could be bored of the same routine, work, school, home, getting out for work, cooking for the kids, cleaning up, whatever you're doing. You're bored in this type of um like daily routine or this schedule. But I feel like spirit wants you to switch things up to where instead of being bored, you can be educating yourself. I'm hearing educating yourself. Research, do some researching. Um, whatever you're into, you can be reading up on that information. Yeah, I'm hearing like, instead of saying you're bored, it's other things you can be doing, which is educating yourself. Whatever makes you happy, uh, whatever you're passionate about, you can be researching that or finding like new information. Getting in tune with spirit, praying, meditating. So, for boredom, it's a tedium, disappointment, emptiness, frustration. Um, life is relatively stable and calm now. And yes, you achieved a certain degree in comfort on a day-to-day -day basis. However, Something is lacking in the way of your fulfillment. Your spirit teachers gather in response to this emptiness. They gently remind you that there's more to life than you're presently expressing and are calling on you to remember your soul commitments of purpose and contribution to your fellow human beings. They confirm what you already know in your heart. Focusing on your interests alone will not fill your void. Trust these beautiful guys as they lovingly urge you to open your heart and share your time and gifts with others. They wisely counsel you to the restlessness, emptiness, and boredom you feel isn't the result of something missing from your life or something you have yet to attain, but rather the reaction it's unexpressed talent, creativity, love in your heart, and things your soul longs to give. Your spirit teachers invite you to take advantage of your present peace and, certain, and certainty and use your good fortune to involve yourself with those who are still struggling. Example, take a friend to lunch, help an elderly neighbor, volunteer at an organization, spend more time with your lonely relatives, your spirit teacher's message, give more and your emptiness will subside. I know that's right, spirit. Come through with the message, spirit. So for enlightenment, Hold on. Where 
is it? Okay, say so enlightenment. If I seek peace, I must embrace my fears. Inspiration. At this time, your journey is more important than your destination. Remember, if you face your fear, you will grow stronger and relief awaits. My thoughts always drive my choices. How can I use my thoughts to heal myself? Path to enlightenment. Taking time alone to create, trusting your intuition, needing solitude, time for reflection. Keywords, support, courage, and confidence. Come through, spirit, with the message, okay? So, yeah, y'all, instead of being bored, it's other things you can be doing. Um, yeah. So, this is what you should be focusing on this week for week July 11th through the 17th. Thank you. Bye-bye.